Hi guys, you welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to be here again to share with you. Thank you so much for making time to be here. I so much appreciate it. Guys, you know that a lot has been happening in the Western Recurrent region because of the recent coup, you know, by the military junta in the Nigeria Republic. And uh, they took over from the democratically elected president of the nation. And the whole of West Africa is in tumor because of that. And a lot of uh, actions have been taken to redress the situation. But before I go further into that, let me welcome you formally to this channel. Thank you very much for coming. This is Deepa G's Corner, a channel that is devoted to give you the best and the latest. So you are in the right place. And if you are here by the, for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. And also to all my amazing subscribers, both new and the returning subscribers, thank you very much. You have been so supportive. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I sincerely appreciate it. Guys, help watch this video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share the video as much as you can. If you can do that, I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. So one more time, I welcome everybody to another time with you to share with you the latest gist. The Senate of Nigeria, Nigerian Senate, has told President Inubu that there is no way that Nigeria is not ready for to send their military to Niger, no to war in Niger Republic. Senators Tinubu no to war in the Jewish Republic. Now, a senator was saying this before sending Nigerian armed forces into battle. A lawmaker from uh, Bauchi State, Bauchi Senatorial District, by name Senator Abdul in Gigi, in Ningi, rather, sorry for pronunciation of that name argued that a joint session of the National Assembly is necessary before Nigerian armed forces can be sent can be sent into any battle whatsoever. So he mentioned that the Senate had instructed President Bolatino to, to forgo war in order to advance efforts to reestablish democracy in the Nigerian Republic. This was said by the lawmaker in an interview with Channels TV. He went further to say he has the right to request permission, but the constitution has established some restrictions. Senator Ningi emphasized there must be a joint sitting of the National Assembly and the Senate before it can ask the Nigerian Armed Forces to enter combat. Yes, we received a letter from him outlining the current state of affairs in ECOWAS. After reading it, we told him plainly that war is off the table and that he should focus on other matters. The Senator said coups are unacceptable. Who, uh, Senator Ningi, who praised the ECOWAS for trying to address the political unrest in the Nigerian Republic, there is nothing under or above the table that should attract a coup. So, Senate is so clear, it bear their position. Ningi noted, Senator Ningi noted that the only physical differences between Nigeria and Niger, colonial era borders, serve to highlight their close relationship. The Naira status as legal tender in Niger was mentioned to highlight the proximity. Although Ninja acknowledged the need to address the coup, she posed the he posed for alternative to military actions. So they should explore other options apart from military force to bring no mercy to Niger Republic. That is the position of the Nigerian Senate. All right, now, guys, you have heard that. What is your opinion about it? 
Has the Senate made the right decision not to send Nigerian military troops to Nigerian Republic? Or they didn't take the right action? Let me know what is your opinion, what is your, what is your view about this. I will be glad you come up with your opinion and made it known on the comment section for others to read and benefit from it. So, no to war in Nigeria Republic. Nigerian Senate tells President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, according to them, Tinobu should explore other means to normalize, to normalize uh, situation in Nigeria Republic. Guys, thank you for watching this video to this moment. I appreciate you so much. Thank you very, very much. All right, guys, I tell you always that uh, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. So continue to dream. Dream big. You will be a good achiever. Till I come your way next time. Bye. Bye.